Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss DC transfer characteristics from the subject VLSI design. First, let us see the introduction. So, what is DC transfer characteristics? So, DC transfer characteristics means it relates input voltage and output voltage of a circuit. So, this is the DC transfer characteristics. So, here we are going to see the DC transfer characteristics of CMOS inverter. So, one assumption is made that is input changes slowly. We are assuming that the input changes slowly. So, why we are assuming this means uh, so that only the capacitance have and enough time to charge as well as discharge. So for that purpose we are assuming that the input voltage changes slowly. So here uh, the important topics that we are going to discuss are static CMOS inverter DC characteristics, B2 ratio effects, noise margin and pass transistor DC characteristics. So first let us see the static CMOS inverter DC characteristics. So, DC transfer function we are going to derive. So, this is the CMOS inverter circuit. So, it consists of a PMOS transistor as well as NMOS transistor. Here, IDSP is the drain to source current flowing through the PMOS transistor. Here, P stands for PMOS. Similarly, IDSN that is the drain to source current flowing through the NMOS transistor. And V in is the input voltage, V out is the output voltage. So, this is the relationship between voltages for the three regions of operation of a CMOS inverter. So, in, the, in my previous video, we have seen the three regions of operation. One is cutoff region, the second one is linear region and the third one is saturation region. So, there is some condition for the NMOS transistor to be operated in cutoff region or linear region or saturation region. Similarly, PMOS transistor to be operated in cutoff region, linear region or saturation region. So, these are the conditions given. Cutoff region or linear region or saturation region. Similarly, PMOS transistor to be operated in cutoff region, linear region or saturation region. So, these are the conditions given. Tn is the threshold voltage of an N-channel P device. Vtp is the threshold voltage of the P-channel device. And here we have to assume that voltage for the P-channel device is always to be negative. Then the equations are given in both terms of Vgs by Vds and V in by V out. So here the source of the NMOS transistor is grounded. So VGSN is equal to V in and VDSN is equal to V out because the source of the NMOS transistor is grounded. So its value will be equal to 0. Therefore VGSN is equal to V in and VDSN is equal to V out. Also the source of the PMOS transistor is tied to VDD that is it is given to the supply. So VGSP is equal to that is gate to source voltage of PMOS transistor is equal to V in minus VDD and VDSP equal to V out minus VDD. This is the graphical derivation of CMOS inverter DC characteristics. So among these diagram the C is very very important because this is the uh, DC transfer characteristics of CMOS inverter. It gives the relation between input voltage as well as the output voltage. So here from the uh, figure it is clear for DC transfer characteristics of a CMOS inverter there are five regions of operation A, B, C, D and E. So first for region A the condition is input voltage is in between 0 and VTN that is 0 and threshold voltage. So if this condition is available means then P device will be in linear mode then N device will be in cutoff. So the output is V out is equal to VDD. So this is the result for A region. Then for B region VTN is less than or equal to V in that is less than VDD by 2. That means the input voltage is in between VTN and VDD by 2. So here the input voltage is in between VTN and VDD by 2. So that is B region of operation. So here the P device will be in linear, 
then n device will be in saturation. So the output is V out is greater than VDD by 2. So V out, V out, v out will be greater than VDD by 2. So this is 0, this is VDD. So in between 0 and VDD you will be having VDD by 2. Then in the third region that is region C. So here the input voltage is equal to VDD by 2. So at that time P device is in saturation region and N device is also in saturation region. So here the V out drops sharply. So that is the condition for C region. Then for D region the input voltage is in between VDD by 2 and VDD minus VTP. So here the P device is in saturation region, N device is in linear region and the output is V out is less than VDD by 2. Also the last region that is in E region input voltage V in is greater than VDD minus VTP. So at that time the P device is cut off and N device is in linear region. So the output is equal to 0. So this is the summary of CMOS inverter operation. So next we are going to see the beta ratio effects. So beta ratio is nothing but the depending upon the size of the transistor the beta will be value will be decided that is for beta p is equal to beta n means for p mass transistor beta value and n mass transistor beta value if both are same means then the threshold voltage v invert that this for an inverter so v i n v is v d d by 2 so this is the um, uh, mostly desirable because it maximizes noise margin uh, inverters with different beta ratios also available. So here we are putting a general term as R. R is equal to beta P by beta N. So these inverters are called as skewed inverters. So the inverters with different beta ratios. That means different size inverters. So that inverters are called as skewed inverters. So here if R value is greater than 1 then that inverter is high skewed inverter. If R value is less than 1 that inverter is called as low skewed inverter. If R is equal to 1 means then the inverter has normal skew or it is unskewed inverter. So here there is an important characteristic for high skew inverter as well as low skew inverter. For high skew inverter it has stronger PMOS transistor. For low skew inverter it has weaker PMOS transistor. So for low skew inverter it has lower switching threshold. So this is the transfer characteristics of skewed inverters. For beta value that is uh, R value. R is equal to beta P by beta N. So R value is equal to 1 means you will be getting the curve like this. Then R is equal to 0.5. R is equal to 2, R is equal to 10, R is equal to 0.1. So for this the characteristic curves are drawn. So next the important topic is noise margin. So this noise margin is related to DC voltage characteristics. Actually what is meant by noise margin means it will determine the allowable noise input voltage that is noise voltage on the input of a gate so that the output will not be corrupted. So allowable noise voltage value is it will be given by this noise margin. So the specification most commonly used to describe the noise margin are low noise margin that is NML and high noise margin NMH. So here let us define the definition for NML that is low noise margin. So low noise margin is defined as the difference in maximum low input voltage recognized by the receiving gate and the maximum low output voltage produced by the driving gate. So that is the definition for low noise margin. NML is equal to VIL that is V input voltage VIL minus VOL. Then NMH, so NMH is the difference between the minimum high output voltage of the driving gate and the minimum high input voltage recognized by the receiving gate. That is NMH is equal to VOH minus VIH. So VIH stands for minimum high input voltage, VIL stands for maximum low input voltage, VOH stands for minimum high output voltage and VOL stands for maximum low output voltage. 
Next, let us see the pass transistor DC characteristics. So, the figure shows the NMOS transistor with gate and drain tied to VDD. So, initially we are assuming the source voltage Vs is equal to 0. So, if Vs is equal to 0 and Vgs that is gate to source voltage is greater than the threshold voltage, the transistor will be in the on state and the current will flow. If the voltage of the source rises to VDD minus VTN, then definitely this VGS voltage falls to VTN. Therefore, the transistor will be in off state, that is cut off state. So, that NMOS transistor attempting to pass a 1 never pull the source above VDD minus VTN. So, there will be some loss. So, this loss is called as threshold drop because uh, the maximum voltage, maximum value will be equal to VDD. VDD means uh, generally we can assume its value is equal to 1. So, one value we cannot reach at the output because at the output you will be getting only VDD minus VTN. So, you will be getting the output voltage slightly lesser than 1. So, this uh, loss is called as threshold drop. Similarly, for PMOS transistor, uh, the gate and uh, drain is tied to ground. That means it is given as a value 0. So, PMOS transistors pass once well but zeros poorly so if pmos source drops below vtp then the transistor will be in cutoff stage i hope you all have understood the concept of dc transfer characteristics of cmos inverter if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you